What's up guys, it's Wujin TV here. While I was out looking for scrap near the Pioneer Scout Camp east of Grafton, I was ambushed by two prison marshals. They attacked me on sight. <laughs> When looting, I found an arrest warrant holotape on both bodies. This is the warden of Eastern Regional Penitentiary. Our last prisoner count came up woefully short. Obviously, there's been a mass breakout. I'm authorizing prison marshals to seek out escape prisoners. Due to overcrowding and the logistics of caring for live prisoners, immediate use of lethal force is all. There seems to be an issue with the Marshal's visual recognition system. No time to fix it now. I must stop those escapees. As you saw, activating this tape starts the quest, Falsely Accused. In the top right, we can see that it is prompting us to go talk to the Warden about the Marshals. Let's check it out. Just southwest of our location, we can find the East Regional Penitentiary. As some of you may know from my other videos, this building is based off a real prison in West Virginia, called the Moundsville Penitentiary. This building is known to be haunted in real life, so I'm excited to see what we're going to find inside. Let's enter. After entering, we're greeted with an overwhelming super mutant presence. <laughs> After only clearing some of the super mutants, we can make our way upstairs to finally meet with the warden and find out why we were shot on sight by the prison marshals. You were attacked? My marshals thought you were an escaped prisoner? An underling will pay for this. Please don't tell the press. The governor would slash my budget. It may be fortunate you came here. Fortunate for me, that is. This place is in such a state of disrepair that inmates are running loose in the halls. I need someone to manually authorize turret activation at each of the four security stations. Nothing says stay in your cell like an active turret. So we're tasked with turning on some turrets for the warden. Heading back down the stairs, we can head into cell block A. We can jump over some rubble where we come across the security room. Inside, we can find the terminal where we can authorize cell block A's turrets. Looks like there's some extra bits on this terminal. General population. Eastern Regional Penitentiary, A block security. Prisoners in cell block A are from general population. That means crimes that aren't bad enough to qualify for minimum security, but not so bad that they get slammed in block D or solitary. Just follow procedures and you'll do fine. Sounds like this post was meant for the guards. We'll find out what happened to them later in the video. Staff shortage. As you know, your rounds will now be done alone. The warden's new budget doesn't include any money to have multiple guards patrolling each block. There's a new plan being worked on to deal with the staff shortage and budget problems. Hmm, I wonder what kind of plan they're talking about. Heading just a few cells over, we can find another terminal, this time behind a security gate, where we can authorize cell block B's turrets. Minimum security. Prisoners in cell block B are minimum security, but just because some of them were accountants, technicians, or whatever, doesn't mean they aren't criminals. They deserve to be here, and you can't let them challenge your authority. If they say something isn't in the rules or isn't in the law, remind them that you are the law in this prison. Make an example of one of them if you need to, otherwise it's chaos. Sounds like they were ruling with an iron fist here. Inmate incident. I was fitting the new prison collars on an inmate, and he kept complaining that it was too tight. Tries to pull it apart and loosen it up, and boom, his head's spaghetti. Guess that'll teach him not to pay his parking tickets. Wow, so it sounds like they were putting explosive collars on inmates here. It must have been terrifying knowing that it could go off so easily. It would be like trying to live your life with a gun pointed at your head. We have seen explosive collars in Fallout games before. First thing that comes to my mind is when Caesar's Legion used them on their slaves. Really awful stuff here. And it's not like they were just using them on maximum security or troublesome inmates was only here because he had unpaid parking tickets. So it sounds like every inmate in the facility had to wear one of them, including minimum security. In order to get to the next terminal, we need to pass through intake. To do this, we need to unlock the level 3 security terminal. 
Inside intake, we can see, presumably, where all the prisoners got their collars installed. These explosive collars are everywhere in this room, along with the small closet to our right. I immediately thought they would be good for scrap, but when I ran over to this chemistry table, I couldn't scrap them, and upon further investigation, I found out that you can wear them. They blink with a bright red light, so if that's what you're into, I believe this is the only place in the game where you can find them. Continuing on to cell block D, we need to pass through a small hole in the wall, where we encounter more super mutants. After clearing the mutants, we can head up to the second level, where we can find the cell block D security room. Here is where we find the next terminal. Organized crime. Prisoners in cell block D are for organized crime, including union organizers and communists. They're all gangs, if you ask me. Just as bad as Mad Dog Malone and his kind. Suspected communists. You might have noticed a surge in prison population lately. I've heard all your complaints. There's no argument here. Communists are the enemy. And if the government suspects someone is a communist, then they're a communist. And where do communists belong? That's right prison. So in these posts, you can really tell that the government was cracking down on communists. So in this post, it sounds like fear was interfering with due process. Anyone even suspected to be communist was thrown in jail. Not a world that I want to live in. Alright, I actually had a hard time finding cell block C. It is through the laundry room, which is located underneath a metal ramp. This is solitary. Near the end of the hallway, we can find another security gate. Inside, we can find the last terminal. Solitary. Remember, solitary confinement means solitary. Don't talk to the prisoner. Don't even have a conversation near their cell. You only come around here when it's mealtime. You don't answer when they try to talk to you. No contact. Get it? Mad Dog Malone. Under no circumstances should Mad Dog Malone be allowed out of solitary confinement. He's in there permanently. We let him out, he'll make nice with the other inmates, and soon enough this whole prison will be part of his gang. We'll be hearing more about Mad Dog Malone here in a minute. But now that we have activated all the turrets, let's head back to the warden. Ah, oh, yeah. Much obliged. Now that those turrets can be activated, it should help ameliorate the chaos in the corridors. <laughs> Even Mad Dog Malone, our most notorious inmate, will think twice before venturing out of his cage. As you can see, this completed the quest, rewarding us with supplies and the legendary weapon, Civil Unrest, which gives you plus 10 action points. But this is not the end of the story. Heading into the warden's personal office, we can find a holotape and a terminal. Attention inmates, this is Warden Brennan speaking. This morning, you were fitted with what the guards told you was a prisoner collar. This collar is an explosive device that will detonate if you attempt to leave Eastern Regional. Now, before some of you panic and try to remove the collar, I feel it's important to advise you that doing so will also detonate the device. Please don't think of these callers as a punishment. Think of them as a benefit. You will no longer be under scrutiny by guards, and you will no longer be forced to sit in your tiny cells as punishment for your crimes. If you stay within the confines of this facility, you're free to roam about and do what you please. However, if any of you choose to abuse this newly found freedom, know that I will not hesitate to manually detonate your collar. Provided we understand each other, I am certain that the rest of your sentence at Eastern Regional will pass quietly and comfortably. Your cell doors are now unlocked. Enjoy your new life without bars, inmates. So it sounds like they were encouraging the inmates to roam around the facility as long as they stayed on prison grounds. I actually tried to put on one of the collars and run off campus to see if it would explode, but nothing happened. Returning to the warden's office, we can read his terminal. Warden Mainframe. 
Warden Buren, with the installment of the new mainframe, your time at Eastern Regional is coming to an end. You will remain on staff to oversee the transition until your retirement benefits kick in. We really want to thank the both of you for your years of dedicated service and for your enthusiasm over the automated program. The future of correctional facilities is within reach, and you have been instrumental in making it possible. Transcript Block D Recording Xander, so wait, you're telling me everyone's gone? The guards? The cook staff? Everyone? Porter, yeah, well, not Warden Brennan. He's staying behind to keep an eye on us. Xander, that's crazy. People are going to kill each other in here. Porter, sure, if they want to get their heads blown up. That's what these callers are for, remember? Besides, we've got those stupid robot guards now. So it ain't like we can do whatever the hell we want. Xander, I don't know. Almost feels like the state's given up on us. Letting us rot. Porter, when did they ever care about us? This isn't new. This is just a way to keep the prison running and keep us in line. Xander, well, if Griffin and Kahlo hadn't tried escaping, maybe we wouldn't be in this mess. Porter, probably not, but they're dead now, and we're not. Which reminds me, Ozzy is having a meeting tonight in the cafeteria. He claims to know a guy that is good with electronics, might be able to get these things off our necks. You in? Xander, hell no. You guys have fun. I plan on keeping this head on my shoulders for the rest of my sentence. So it sounds like, besides the inmates, there was only one other human on prison grounds. And he wasn't going to be there for long because of his retirement. It must have been only a matter of time before the inmates rioted and the whole thing went to hell, even with the explosive callers and automated robots. So, also located at this prison is an event called Jailbreak. Here is the warden. This is the warden of the Eastern Regional Penitentiary. where Mad Dog Malone and his gang try to break out, and you are tasked with repairing some turrets and to stand on the roof and shoot anything that tries to run off prison grounds. This was an easy little event, and it was cool to see the lore from inside expand to the event on the outside. Alright, that's all I have on the Eastern Regional Penitentiary. I hope everybody enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. It really helps out my channel. Also, if you've made it this far in the video, consider joining my channel's membership. You get a cool little cryptid symbol next to your name when you comment, and it goes a long way in supporting my channel, so thank you. Also consider following me on Twitter, it's the best place for me to keep in contact with you guys. But anyway, this has been Wijin TV. thanks for watching guys. Mm -hmm.